What's up? It's Jay again. I'm here with Mr. Buddy Cooper and he's going to show us some items off. Authentic items from the movie Fall Break, also known as The Mutilator. All right. And this is just a storeroom where we put things. This happens to be, uh, this is the chalk mask from the movie. The one and only. Yeah. <laughs> I knock on it and you can open it up. You have to have at least two of everything to make movement in case one gets broken. This is the backup mask. Oh, yeah. Look. Looks like it's got some the paint has formed some salt you on see? it. Nice. Uh, this is a mold that the, spake, the makeup special effects department used to make the frog gig. Oh, yeah. So when Ralph yeah. gets stuck in the neck Ralph, with that pitchfork. Right. It was, uh, wasn't real. It was a movie thing. Now that is neat. This is a mold for. Ben Moore's hand. I forgot what we used. The cop, Ben Moore, yeah. So we've got one of the hands over there. Yeah, it was neat to see him come. Uh, he's from 2000 Maniacs, a classic yeah. um, Herschel Gordon Lewis gore flick. So he he, 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 um, he was nice to see his face in the film. This is the mold that his uh, head was made from. You know, when he gets decapitated, it was made in this mold. Ben Moore's head? Okay. Yeah. There's some. Oh, Look, I've you, seen. You would not know what that is. That's a 45 <laughs> RPM record. Wow. And uh, uh, it's a fall break theme song. It sure, it sure is. And they can ask their folks, their parents, what that is. and Maybe the parents are old enough to know what it is. Uh, those 45s, yeah, they can go dust off their old re parents' record player, and um, then they can go on eBay and try to find them one of those fall breaks. They'd be lucky to find one, that's for sure. I mean, this is uh, an artificial concrete block made out of styrofoam. The wall that uh, Big Ed was crushed against was made out of these styrofoam blocks. Yeah, well, he got split in half. That was pretty gory stuff. I mean, did anybody try to say, hey, let's tone this down? I know you released the movie in two different versions, R and Unrated, cause, maybe because of that. Uh, no, I can, I can, that's another story. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we approached the state of North Carolina film office at the time, the bridge, the bridge to Atlantic Beach was a drawbridge, and the, as rich, originally written, Big Ed was trapped as the drawbridge was closing, and it cut him in half. And they wow. And said, yeah, we were glad to help. They sent us a copy of the screenplay, and we sent it to them. They called back and said, look, yeah, well, maybe we're not so glad to help you after all. So we had to rewrite the ending, and that's where the brick wall came from. Oh, it worked well, but that, that was um, pretty elaborate, which you had initially planned. The wig that Connie Rogers artificial head wore when it was... The beautiful Connie yeah. Rogers. Here's a hand I was talking about. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Now, uh, if it had a big rip right there, like somebody had their poor uh, hand burned with a cigarette lighter. Yeah, I don't think this <laughs> no, was he was reaching in there with his left hand. Uh, little movie blood left over. Oh, yeah, I'm movie blood from... <laughs> Of the of the 55 gallons that was used, if not more. There's a finger. I don't know what that was. This is the uh, clapboard. That's a tape. That's a tape. <laughs> Some PR photos. We uh, we made two issues of Fangoria magazine. Oh, uh, well, you know, I, I would really think that they're gonna come calling well, because. I'm here. The Mutilator is a um, landmark film. You might remember this. <laughs> you think anybody out there recognizes that? So did they have to make a prop one of those? Because that's real. I was holding that a while ago, and that, that thing right there would go right up in you real easy. No, we used, uh, we used a dummy instead of a real person. Oh. Yeah, that was a pretty sick scene. Um, not just what it's implying, but um, in the uncut version, it goes on to show it coming back up out the belly, and it, it really looks painful. Yeah, it was painful to a lot of people. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm going to step right over here in that corner and look at... Yeah, right over here is just a lot of film um, in canisters these, of the mutilator. These are uh, some of the prints that have been shipped around in the old days. These are the cans that they were shipped in. Some of them got sent back in boxes. I guess they kept oh, the cans. Yeah. There's some more over there. These are, uh, Elements for the trailers. Oh. Some TV spots, radio and TV spots. Yeah. The box says trailers. Yeah. 
actual trailers that were run in the theater. Yeah, was these up. are uh, these are some of the stuff that was cut in the editing. Uh -huh. These boxes that the cut pieces. This is the I stuff that when the DVD comes out that the people are going to be wanting to see because they hadn't seen before. That's exactly why the DVD is going to be so hot. And I can speak for all the people who um, will be buying it. Get it out. Get the DVD out. Because think about it. I'd be watching the DVD if instead of the VHS if I had the opportunity to do so here in America. Yeah, this is uh, that, that uh, UK version the UV, uh, the uh, DVD was tired as I'll point out this is the one of the, the jackets we had for more than where when we got hit by the wall well, the uh, outboard motor a little bit of moving blood still on this one. oh yeah let me get a close up on that all right some of Maury Lampley's blood yeah. would be blood He's all right. a lot of people like to make fun of the way he went down I mean when you get cut up by the an outboard motor who really knows how you go down you know <laughs> These are continuity Polaroids. Oh, great. That's Matt Mittler. And uh, so that the next time we, sh we we get to run the next shot, we want to make sure everything looks right. So uh -huh. they take all these pictures and see where the blood is. That's Big Ed, what he looked like. Well, wow. how is Mr. Chatham? Is he um, around, alive? And... Jack is fine. He's great. Uh, I talked to him on the phone about two days ago. He's in Greensboro. Oh, and, well, all right. Uh, he's doing fine. Good. Well, you tell him that we appreciate what he did. Oh, issue. You tell him that we sure appreciate everything he did. I will. Because we might not have the opportunity to myself. I know he's not going to be at the big um, first ever mutilator convention coming up. So he's good at playing one mean sob. I'll tell you that. Hey, he looks mean. Here's something you might find interesting. These boxes. I don't know how much you know about how movies are made. Not a whole lot, sir. Well, but after you. Uh, after you make it and you cut the, the dailies, you, piece, you edit the picture together, you reach a point uh, where, you, where it's called the rough cut, where you, you've got the whole movie, but it's a little bit rough. And then you tweak it and, and make it finer. Then you, you take, there are, then you do the sound edit. And you take that picture to a mixing lab and they put the picture up on a projector that's, that is, uh, I can't think of the word now, synchronized oh. with, in our case, eight soundtrack machines. And the soundtrack is, is roughly done on something called mag stripe. Wow, look at that stuff. It's film with magnetic stripe on it, just like recording tape. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in here. All this white stuff is leader. Well, they put, we would put eight of these mag stripes. It's a little bit worse for wear, but we would put eight of these mag stripes up on eight machines and uh, sit at a, in a, like a screening room with the sound with the mixer, a huge board, and he would adjust all the tracks, and it's in uh, it's synchronized with the picture. And it runs and you can stop it and back it up and go forward and he and you record all the sound effects on one soundtrack which makes the optical soundtrack printed along with the, the prints for showing on the screen. Good sound guy and ours was uh, we'll have a a pocket full or really a shelf full in that case of uh, different sound effects if you needed something really we need not enough seagulls in that shot. He'd reach behind and pull out a tape of seagulls on it, yeah. throw it in the machine, and add a few seagulls and that sort of thing. That was a lot. That was one of the. That was a very fun. The whole making the whole thing was fun. That was one of the one of the highlights. Yeah, um, reading interviews and stuff from some of the actors in there, they've quoted it as being the most fun experience they've ever had in movie making. So that's a good compliment. I just want to say I sure appreciate your time today. And uh, it was my pleasure. Jim. Thanks and, uh, a lot. Anytime. Thank you a lot. Well, I'll try to shake your hand here on camera. Thank you so a lot, buddy. Okay. Very kind. All right.